Well, I'll just give you an idea of the state of this project. What ended up happening is I was trying to use these programmable um, AS5600 sensors that these uh, Hall effect sensors that you're supposed to be able to program the ranges of so that you have the full resolution of voltage between two end stops. But the batch I got just would not work. And then I realized if anybody was gonna build the plans and they had to go through the hell of trying to like short pins and stuff to program them, it's no good. So I'm ordering a TL, or is it TLE 5011s, I think? I'm gonna get mountings for those. Um, but this project has basically been sitting in parts. It just came out of a shipping container like two weeks ago. Um, where I left it is I was starting to work on the dampening system, which is actually not that bad. It's inspired by the rotary damper, dampener, or not dampener, damper is the correct word, uh, that the Authenticit guys are using. Um, it's got a little bit of gearing or like cogging, but it's not too bad, especially when the springs are loaded, which are, have been removed. They took the springs off for shipping. Um, all uses skateboard bearings that are, you know, cheap, cheap and plentiful. Um, and then I can't remember the number of this bearing, but this is also a very common bearing, so these are very cheap as well. Um, it uses just a uh, 3D printer extrusion, extruded aluminum. All this base plate stuff, I like it, but it really needs to be redesigned. And also there's a lot of unnecessary plastic uh, wastage. I also need to balance this better because the cams, like with the springs out, you can see how it, it kind of, it's a little bit floppy. Um, so I need to kind of adjust the spacing here to kind of move the center of gravity over and then maybe have some nuts that extend. It's stuff to think about. This is what I'm saying why I want to do a clean sheet redesign. Um, but the problem is it's a lot of filament. Like just coming to this prototype, I think was three rolls of PETG of just rolling through that, which, you know, it adds up over time. Um, and then of course I was designing it for this tornado grip, which is quite nice. Um, but I'm probably going to use this on a different project because I know there's that wonderful VP force project, like the, uh, the force feedback rhino, which I'm, you know, putting some money aside for. So I'll build a, build one of those at some point. But for this guy, I, I really think this is a good, good concept. It just, it needs to kind of hit the, the drawing board again and kind of put together a more cohesive design that'll be easier for people to build. And I also want to make it uh, TM in like Verpil. Is Verpil is TM compatible as well? But make it compatible with uh, grips that people have. Um, and the problem is I don't have any TM grips. I have this, which is from, um, not a Huey, I think it's from a, a Griffin. But like, I don't have those grips. So the sort of things that I would be hoping, if people are interested, of course, would be to fund things like filament, aluminum extrusion, hardware, if people want to donate a grip or two, or, you know, I could buy one, but, you know, a used one is perfectly fine. A grip to actually test with, um, Arduinos. I want to make it uh, FreeJoy compatible because that's also open source. So if people are interested, you know, comment below. Um, if it goes anywhere, maybe, you know, in the new year, we can think about it. If not, um, I don't know when this is ever going to get finished. All right. Thanks, guys.